New genes and HYB have been embroiled in conflict for a long time at this point. It all started with Min Hee Jin, the former CEO of ADOR, which houses the group, who was caught scheming the usurp of management rights. The latest document leak further added to that feud. However, while many have been concerned about New Jean's future at HYB, the CEO has vowed that they are committed to helping them grow further. On November 5th, Lee Jae Sang addressed internal conflicts involving HYB and New Jeans during a conference call to discuss third quarter earnings. He acknowledged that despite having new album releases or concerts, the girl group maintained their consistent achievements on music charts and popularity in advertisements throughout the third quarter. HYB remains committed to supporting New Jeans' ongoing growth, Lee Jae Sang stated. He also acknowledged the group's record breaking success noting that when they held their Bunnies Camp 2024 concert in June in Tokyo, they set a record as the fastest non-J-pop artist to perform there. With the release of How Sweet This Year and their Japanese debut album Supernatural in June, they've achieved their fifth consecutive million seller, the CEO said, praising the group's commercial skills. Not too long ago, HYB's internal report about music industry trends was leaked. The document revealed shockingly malicious content on other K-pop idols and groups, landing the agency in massive controversy. On this day, addressing the situation, CEO Lee Jae Sang stated, Despite the various challenges surrounding the company recently, HYB artists and employees have continued to achieve great results through their hard work. He added that the agency is extremely focused on continuing its business and following its core values without unwavering commitment. He also expressed his gratitude towards HYB shareholders. Meanwhile, the agency has been in hot water due to the aforementioned leaked document. Previously, Lee Jae Sang issued an official apology letter, acknowledging that the report contained inappropriate content. However, he declined to have used the information for reverse viral marketing. In addition, he said that he is reaching out to other agencies to apologize for the problematic content about their K-pop idols.